Hi guys, I'm Tim. I'm studying Management Technology at the Technical University of Munich. I also participated in the Digital Seeds program in Germany. You hear party, you hear Tim. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. I'm Ray Fang from Singapore. I'm currently a final year student at NUS Business School. Um, I'm specializing in marketing. Yeah, we were sharing pictures as well. Both of us were fascinated with each other's countries. Hi, my name is Rasul Diseño. I'm 10 years old. I'm from El Salvador. And I'm really excited to be here with all of you in Barcelona. First of all, I've never met anybody from El Salvador. Just being with him just makes him cool. My name is Violet Nyakunzu. I'm from Zambia. I'm 26 years old. I uh, graduated from the University of Lusaka. That's in the capital of Zambia. That shows how much of a person that is optimistic in the future. Hello, um, my name is Hassim Bassem. I'm a 21 years old student. I'm a student of ICD, both in programming and networking, a hybrid between both. Investing in the youth is investing in my future and in all our future. And I think that's just summarizing the whole Digital Seeds program in general, because basically that's what what's Huawei is doing. They're investing in us. So it's a great opportunity to take part in the MWC and allow everyone participating to tackle and uh, explore the new technologies in the world. that it impacted me the most is the sensibility of 5.5G technology. If some crash in, in the middle of the street, it can alert and it can like tell you where else to go in real time, basically. I was really surprised when I went to the Huawei booth. Um, firstly, I wasn't expecting it to be so big. It is just amazing how Huawei has so many, many applications for the technology that you guys have. I actually decided to pick something more hands-on where people can imagine something out of it. Um, so, of course, it's the term 5.5G because it's like literally everywhere at the Huawei booth. And um, so there was, for example, a game. And at this game, they were like, um, you were in a booth, for example, and there were eight cameras pointing towards you. And then you were, could scan yourself and actually walk around and basically explore the game. And then actually got like a little reminder of that. So it's like a little 5.5G booth. <laughs> I did speak to a lot of Huawei people, especially on cloud computing and security. I have worked with uh, various tools from various organizations, but I think Huawei, after having spoken to uh, most of the consultants, Huawei is on top of their game. I'm very interested in AI as well. They're using automation, especially in uh, infrastructures and factories such as uh, car building factories. We're now we're automating it more and more and so, so that we're needing less human intervention and that's more efficient as well. From uh, today's uh, Women in Tech uh, talk, I think my favorite was Abiola, the president of the women in Africa. The reason why she was my favorite is because she's so soft-spoken and very inspirational. She has got 15 years experience in the tech world. And for me, if you ask me, I think that is women in power. I think the main reason why there are so few women in tech is actually the education and not like actually the job choice. I think if we could make the education more attractive for women, I guess there would be more women in like the tech fields and also in advisory boards in, in the C-level positions of tech companies. There was one talk about how, whereby she gave us advice on how women can actually step up. I think one thing that really resonated with me was when she spoke about finding a mentor to guide you through, um, you know, corporate, corporate world, the working world and everything. And I really resonated with that. I was really amazed by all of her stories because they were like talking about their challenges that they have faced and what did they want to our society and how they want to keep like improving and encourage all women in tech. I asked about uh, finding the perfect balance between um, hard work and dedication as well as laying back and appreciating your success and efforts that have, you have done in the past. Because as important as hard work and strive is, there you always need time to recognize the efforts that you have done as well.
He was telling me that he's from Verinen, and like everybody was wondering where the f oh no, oh shit. <laughs> I'm, maybe I should not. Uh, he's a very outgoing person. She. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, 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 hola. hola. He's going into dance battles all the time. I was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> Honestly, he was the one who convinced me to go clubbing. Yeah, actually. Like, <laughs> 